So today, I'm super excited to share three awesome Samsung Galaxy settings that you really need to start using right now. Trust me, these little tweaks can make a big difference in how you snap pics, take screenshots, and even create fun GIFs. Let's dive right in. First up, let's talk about your camera. Have you ever tried to take a picture only to have it feel like it's taking forever? You know, that moment when you're about to capture something amazing, but the camera just doesn't respond fast enough. Well, I've got a quick fix for you. Head into your camera settings and look for something called intelligent optimization. Once you're in there, you'll see an option for quality optimization. If you click on that and switch it to minimum, you'll prioritize taking the shot instead of optimizing the photo quality. What does that mean? It means your camera will snap photos super fast, helping you catch those precious moments without missing a beat. How cool is that? Next, let's talk about taking screenshots, especially when you're watching videos. Instead of fumbling with the volume down and power button combo, there's an easier way. When you're watching a video, keep an eye out for a little screenshot icon popping up in the corner of your screen. When the moment strikes and you want to capture a screenshot, just hit that icon. Boom. It captures the screenshot right there, making it so easy to grab that perfect moment from your video. You can take as many as you want, and when you go to your screenshots folder, you'll see exactly what you just snapped. Super simple, right? All right, now for the final tip. If you're looking to add a little fun to your media, let's talk about making GIFs from your videos. It's easier than you think. Just open your gallery app and find the video you want to turn into a GIF. Tap on the three dots, and you'll see a GIF option. Click that, and you'll open up a nifty little editor tool. From there, you can scroll through the video to find the exact part you want to turn into a GIF and decide how long you want it to be. Once you're happy with it, hit that save button and voila. You've created your very own GIF, ready to share with friends or keep for yourself. Easy peasy. So that's a wrap for today. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to drop a like on this video, leave a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, take care.